Hello, I'm Sue Beasley from Bluebell Cottage Gardens in Cheshire. We've exhibited at Tatton Show for the last 13 years, the last seven of those in the Floral Marquee. And we're really well known for our very naturalistic displays of hardy perennials and co using combinations that people can actually replicate in their own gardens at home. Now, obviously we can't be at Tatton Show this year. So we thought we'd take you around the garden here and show you some of the combinations that we would have at Tatton if the show was on this year. So one of my favorite plants and one that we always show at Tatton Show every year uh, is the Sanguisorba. And there are lots of different varieties of them. This one's a real favorite of mine. It's called Chocolate Tip. And I think it looks wonderful, just tones perfectly uh, with this uh, Calamagrostis overdam. And obviously, of course, they're slightly different shapes, which really helps. This one is Sanguisorba obtusa. It's very tactile. It's got these hanging pink sort of soft bottle brush type flowers. And I just think it looks really good framed against this uh, steeper Gigantia behind it. Another one I love is Sanguisorba tana. Uh, tiny little maroon bubbles but it's a really easy plant to combine with other things. Here it is with Achillea gold plate behind it making a really sort of vibrant combination and on the other side of the path it's toning almost perfectly with a just emerging monada called fireball. Over on the other side of the square borders more of a contrast here we've got the spires of salvia amethyst and behind it is Monada Jacob Klein. And at first sight, they look like a really strong contrast, but there's something about it that just works. And Chris, who works here in the gardens on Thursday, spotted it and she said, just look at the bottom of that Monada, the, the basal petals and the top of the stems. And that's got that same purple in as the, as the amethyst. And she's absolutely right. And that's really why it works so well, I think. Some plants work absolutely brilliantly as kind of complementary partners and as contrasts and Fabina bonariensis is one of those I think that you know is such an easy plant to use. Here we've got it toning very elegantly with this just with this white almost faintly pale pink diorama but if you turn the other way uh, behind it is the sort of coral orange of Nifophia timothy and then behind that the bright red of a lichness chalcedonica and the hemerocallis corki and the whole thing is an awful lot more poppy. When it comes to combining plants I think sometimes people can get a bit stuck on colours but actually something perhaps more important still is shapes. So if you can combine something frothy or soft with something upright and stiff or something with a dome shape with something that's perhaps a flat or a cone with a spike. Those are the sort of things that really work. And a real standout plant for us in our big borders are the deer armors. We've got some that are six foot high and some that are more just a couple of feet near sort of knee level. But the real beauty of them is the way that they arch over and they mingle with other plants. They sort of tap them on the head and, and you know, sometimes the colors are more contrasting but you just get this movement and the transparency and the interaction between them. And I just think they're the most wonderful plants. So I'm sorry we can't be with you in person this year, but hopefully this short video has perhaps brought back some happy memories of earlier shows and given you some ideas and inspiration for your own garden. So hopefully, We'll see you next year. Bye now.